the perfect time in our show to go to our great DSA sports correspondent, Brandon Roddy, with a little football news. Good morning, Brandon. Good morning, Brandon. How, how are we all? How are we all? It's good to see you, Brandon. I got to mention, you're looking nice and trim on the wall this morning. Well, I don't know about trim. Yeah, about trim. yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's you a know, black we coat. Went, it's a black we coat. We went to it's school yesterday, but no, you look, you no look good this today. morning. No Popeyes <laughs> today. I didn't have some tacos this morning. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> good for you. Good tacos. for you. What's going on, Brandon? Well, first, I want to say happy birthday to my dad, Lou Roddy. He's turning 59 today. Oh, congratulations. Uh, now, now Paul, you, you play football. I got a question for you. Yes, sir. A nine-year-old playing against 11-year-olds has 1,900 rushing yards, 35 touchdowns, and 60 tackles. Those are good stats, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly, especially mm -hmm. nine against an 11-year-old. Now, Heck what yeah. if I told you it was a girl doing all that? No way. Whoa. Yeah, check this Whoa. out. Sam yeah. Gordon. Look at her go. She is, she, you minute. know, I've played football more than half of my life, uh -huh. and I know talent when I see it. This girl is talented. Look at these moves she's got. It. Whoop, whoop. Gone. Wow. And just wow. outruns everybody. These are 11 year old boys she's playing against. Wow. She and they cannot she's stop her. She's impressive. They cannot stop her. Now, I, you know, I wish I could say that she's going to be in the NFL one day. Maybe it'll happen. But you know, if she does, you know, she might be the first one to go to the Pro Bowl. You, you know what, Brandon? I think this video is so metaphorical of life because as a young girl, continuously throughout your life, there are men running behind you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Don't get yeah. full life. Chasing right. you down. Trying to catch you down. <laughs> Trying to catch. I think that, that little good. girl is fast. You know, she is Quick. It would be it would be nice to see her go to go to the Pro Bowl in the NFL because the Pro Bowl Good is held in Hawaii, but you don't have to go to the Pro Bowl to go to Hawaii because we have we the understand. Gridiron Challenge. Yes. 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 Five and Blue Haven Pools has teamed up to bring you the Gridiron Challenge. Now it, we are halfway through the season and we're looking good right now. The winner from last week was actually can can you help me out, Dave? What was his name? Is the super in there? Mr. Millman. There we go. Andrew Millman. He was 13 and 1. Congratulations. He wins a fathead. And I got some great news for Cowboys fans, something you really want to pay attention to. Okay. But I'm going to get to these other games first. All right. I want to start with the biggest game of the week the Chicago Bears hosting the Houston Texans. Both All these right. teams are 7 and 1. And I want to give you a, a stat. The last six years, whatever team from the AFC was leading at this point in the season, they went to the Super Bowl. I'm not Very saying nice. the Texans are going, I'm just saying the facts are in their favor. But I think the Chicago Bears are going to win oh, this game because wow. I'm a fan of the Chicago Bears. Go oh, Bears, the Bears. <laughs> Atlanta Falcons, last undefeated team in the NFL, hosting, uh, going to visit the New Orleans Saints. I'm trying to see the Saints get things going. I think Atlanta is overrated, so I'm going to take the Saints in this one. Come on, Saints, in the upset. San Francisco 49ers going to visit the St. Louis Rams. Wow, why did, the, did you hear Eileen <laughs> over here? Eileen like, yeah. could be the mascot I, for the Hopefully the Niners can get it going. Yes. They, uh, they've been playing well all year. Yes. Go Eileen! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Niners have been playing well all year. I think they keep it going and they beat the Rams in this one. All right, Cowboys fans, here's the news that you need to know. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. You don't have to worry anymore because it's basketball season. You can cheer for the Spurs now. Oh, Cowboys, oh, Cowboys hey, aren't going to give you hey, any hey, They're not going to give you any Oh, oh. Wait a minute. You, you, know, the Eagles? But you know, on a positive note, Tony Romo is facing the only quarterback that has more turnovers than he does this year. Oh, and I think the Cowboys oh, are going to go to Philly and get the win. I'm going for the Cowboys All right. over yeah. the Eagles. All so, right. Cowboys, don't let me down. Don't let me right, down. Exactly. Maybe they can pick up that girl, Sam hey, Gordon. Maybe hey, that'll help them out a little bit. Hey, oh, hey wow. Brandon, I got one more pick for you. What's that? a and Alabama. I, oh. Alabama. 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 I, you know, I, on, I've been Brandon. to A&M. I've, been, I've seen the stadium, but Alabama is playing professional level football right now. Those guys are men amongst boys. So, so wait a minute, Brandon. When you say Alabama's playing professional level football, that means A&M is playing what? They're, you know, they're playing middle of the pack SEC football. They're not the best. Wow. Thing. No, no, that, you know, but that's wow. a good thing. But that's a good thing because they weren't predicted <laughs> to win. They weren't predicted to win any games in the SEC this year. And right now, they're a couple games out of first place. You know, that's pretty good for Let the Let me Aggies. tell you what. They're going to be pretty good this year. Our, next year. Our, our resident Aggie, Ralph Garcia, he can't even contain himself like now. Like, he wants to say something. He can't Woo! even like, <laughs> he's, just, he's trying to hold it together, but it's hard. Yeah. It's yeah. so hard. Roddy, he, he hey, knows Ralph, do that, do that little <laughs> chant you do. Do the, that little chant, chant, that little chant, chant you do. The chant, come on. Come on. Aggie Ralph love. Garcia. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so much so anger. Roddy, I thought, Roddy, I have one more pick. We have our hometown team, UTSA Roadrunners, playing this weekend. Oh, against McNeese. Yeah, oh. who do you think? I'm always pulling for UTSA. I want to see the whole team win. We love UTSA. You know, they're, they're doing well this year. Really Hopefully they can pick it up. I'll go UTSA. Hook yes. them Roadrunners. Those Roadrunners got a, a football program, I'm telling you. Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> Thank have you, a good Brandon. weekend. <laughs>
Well, we have...